So could you introduce yourself, please? Okay. Um, my name is Nuno Bernardo. I'm the founder and the CEO of a company called Be Active. We established in Portugal in 2003 to create multi-platform content uh, that could be available on traditional media and also in the new media, including internet and mobile phones. Okay, so the, our readers, readers of Mitblog will know you because you contribute frequently to our blog uh, about transmedia. You've got a you've got a new transmedia project down here um, about music. Could you tell us more about it? Yes, we we just wrapped last Saturday. It's um, it's a transmedia series about um, a 21 years old girl. She lives in London with her mother. Uh, her mother was a world class pianist, but now is retired and is projecting on the daughter uh, the, the, her dream to be a, a world-class pianist and uh, suddenly the mother dies and uh, Heather, this main character, needs to go to live with, uh, with her father in a rougher area of South London and um, she was supposed to get into Juilliard but she, she, she messes up with application, she doesn't get in and be, because of the, her half-brother that she's tied to initiate a relationship with um, she gets into the world of uh, dance music, clubbing and she sees DJing as an opportunity and she finds that, that she really likes it because um, gives her more freedom than the classical music and the, 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 the mastering of classical music and the training doesn't give. So she becomes torn between these two worlds, one about uh, her mother's legacy about the classical music and the other about the freedom and the, the dance music and the clubbing and uh, all these new world that is open to her. Uh, so this coming of age story is very, uh, very I think, nicely done. Uh, we have strong characters and um, it will be released uh, in June. <laughs> the transmedia aspect work. Yes, we, we start with knowing Heather as a, as a, as a character, that is the prequel uh, part of the story, of the story that we develop. Uh, that will be done uh, through video blogs. Uh, and uh, later on we'll, we are publishing a novel with her uh, thoughts about what's happening on her life. Uh, that will be in sync with a game, with the soundtrack. Of the, of the of the series and later in September that will lead to a television series uh, that will is a six part uh, six of hours that okay. will be released international so there's a lot of talk here about how how do I like, produce transmedia I expect one of the most difficult things is synchronizing all of those different threads it is it's it, it's very difficult uh, transmedia uh, at least as my definition is 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 an art form for you to tell a story that where you are not focused in one medium, but instead you are focusing the story, and you use transmedia to use the different medias around you, the, the different platforms to tell that story and and, and try to create a, a, a richer world that um, was a weak television show can't because it's very limited in the format of the 26 minutes or 44 minutes or 52 minutes. Uh, and uh, the, the transmedia approach is how we can use the different mediums that are around from live events. From from digital platforms, from traditional platforms, to create a richer world, to, to give, to make the characters more alive, not just someone that we have a contact once a week. And um, of course, it is very difficult to do because we are talking about different platforms. We need to find much more pieces of content. And um, the, the way we, we've been doing is try to approach it more on a uh, research and development uh, strategy. I even did a. a uh, Mip blog about that and is trying to use uh, the, the approach that sometimes software companies and pharmaceutical companies use to when they want to come up with a new software or a new uh, prescription they do a, some research, they do a prototype and they put it in the market and then if it works then they keep developing and can keep improving and we apply the same approach that is we create characters, we create the story world, we, make, we put it online and um, we try to get a, a, a fan base, a community around it. We, we grow with the community because sometimes we think that we have the best characters of the best story but the, the, the audience doesn't think that way so it gives us also time to 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 fine-tune and to perfect the, the, the characters and perfect the story and then with the audience uh, make it grow and grow and grow and then spin it to the different platforms and not try to do all the see all the platforms at the same time because that is very complex I think even for a, a big studio imagine for an independent company mm. so there's a lot of um, you hear the word transmedia a lot here especially at this MIP at MIP Cube it seems to be the term seems to be being used a bit too much Yes, transmedia is being used, I think, for 
anything or everything that at least has a digital platform. Um, we, we tried to, to, to dif differentiate, uh, especially in the, uh, in the book that I wrote and the, the blogs and uh, also the, 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 the teaching work that I do. Uh, I think there is three, three types of, of, of new forms of, of content distribution. One is the, the cross-media, when you, you have something that is online or is in one platform and then it grows in one platform and it crosses to the other. Sometimes you have a web series, the web series grow, gets a, a decent audience and then you, you cross that series to television and it becomes a television show and then crosses to other platforms. Sometimes you have a multi-platform approach where you produce a piece of content and that piece of content has different um, formats and is distributed at the same time on, on different, on multiple platforms. Um, and that approach is also what sometimes uh, big networks or, or studios do, that is they have a movie coming out or they have a big television series coming out and most of the time for marketing purposes they create additional uh, standalone content that can be played on multi-platforms. It's very common now the, the big uh, Hollywood blockbusters or the big uh, network series to have a web series, a game, a comic book. And, uh, but that's not necessarily no, no, it's, it's, it, it's nothing wrong, being or not being transmedia, I think it, it, it's a different approach. It's an approach that you have a, a story, a, a very closed story that you, you, you format as a, as, a, as a feature film or a, or a television series, and then you create additional content. But the, your central piece was always, uh, and your, your, your big effort, what you want to do is to achieve success with your, with your movie, to sell more tickets as possible, or getting as many people as possible watching your television show at 9pm. Mm. Um, for me, transmedia, it, it, it's not like that. Is you create the story for the sake of the story. You make the characters evolve, but you don't think at, on, on the first place which platform will play. You do the story for the story, and you're not, you're not constrained by the. I have to do a television series, or my story can only have 90 pages because it's the format of a feature film. So you create the story for the story, and then you let it grow organically on the different platforms that make sense for that project. So it's a different approach. When for me the, the organic transmedia is that type of transmedia that is not centered in the beginning around a movie or around a television series or around a game. It's a story per se that uses the platform to really uh, create this, this, this story world. And then, of course, if it, it gets an audience, then it can become a feature film, then it can become a television show, can become a game. But that was not the main element on the, on the, on the beginning of the development of the, of the concept. Right, so story first, platform second. Exactly. Yeah. Great. Thanks very much. So thank you.